Us here in the Bay Area, closer to home, we're tracking monsoonal moisture and moisture that we're seeing right now evaporating before it hits the ground, also known as Virga. But we are starting to get some reports of very light drizzle and sprinkles out there right now along the San Francisco Peninsula and South Bay. But radar for tracking the bulk of the monsoonal moisture to our south and east, going to make its way into the Bay Area tonight through your Monday as well. So friendly reminder, if you hear thunder roar, go indoors. This isn't going to be a storm that brings us rain. In fact, the threat of dry lightning that could spark and spread fires if any gusty winds also form because of those strong cells. So let's take a look outside. Mother Nature, we are tracking that cool sea breeze out there thanks to Carl the Fog and temperatures along the coast warming up into the mid 60s, but about five to eight degrees below average for Concord and Santa Rosa in the mid to upper 70s when you should be in the mid 80s, but it certainly didn't feel like that because of the mugginess out there right now making temperatures feel warmer temperatures out there right now mid 70s for Concord and Antioch low 60s for Half Moon Bay so really just tracking about a 15 degree difference but a lot of moisture out there right now because of that tropical feel and wind tracker for tracking that cool sea breeze in downtown San Francisco 20 mile per hour sustained winds and we're going to hold steady with our overnight lows 50s and 60s with temperatures tomorrow warming up into the mid 80s for Concord and Livermore at 87 degrees 68 for downtown San Francisco Francisco in mid 70s for Oakland and even those of you in Hayward. So well above average temperatures feeling hotter because of that monsoonal moisture continuing through Tuesday and then we dry out and heat up mid 90s for inland valleys by Thursday. Back to you, Noel.